Welcome to the very quick introduction to flashcards for WebOS. I'll try and go quickly because there's a lot of information to cover and there's a lot to the application. The first thing you'll notice is the call out to the MP3 player. You can tap on this and it will load your favorite media player so you can actually listen to your music while you study. You can change this through the preferences which is the first option here in the slider that we have. I also have some other important things uh, if you need to send me feedback uh, you find a bug or just have a suggestion please be sure to use this and let me know there's news about flashcards tools that I have come up with while I'm studying follow us on Twitter uh, Facebook you can get to the contact screen so that if you need help you can contact me uh, you can share this application through a text or email to a friend and a direct link to this page on the app catalog uh, if you get flashcards please be sure to leave a review it helps out quite a lot the three main study or tools that we have in here are study download and create the create section just has a lot of helpful information about how to actually create your flashcards you can create it on the device itself you can create it online using the online tools you can import from other sites and there's a lot of different options and information the download will bring up the help page where you can choose the different areas that we have I'll choose the editors picks because these are hand selected flashcards that I really feel are good they're reviewed they're you know just ready to download and start studying immediately I'll go into the history category here and you'll see you can sort the information by date by name and by popularity I'm just going to choose this renaissance art here because I'm a history buff on the right you can click on the email link and you can email a link or text it to yourself or a friend for offline study you can preview the cards that are in the set before you actually install and then you can actually install the set so now the set has actually been installed you can review the cards so you can start studying immediately or just click OK to dismiss the set we're going to go back here clicking on this icon is the user submitted that's users that use flashcards that have created their information decided to make it public the center icon is my online flashcards that's the information and sets that you have either backed up from your device to your online tools account or that you have actually created using the website there's an entire website dedicated to helping get, helping you get all the information created and ready to go the search option will bring up uh, the search you can search quizlet.com and the flashcards online tools right within the device if you want to search for a specific account you can actually choose that and use the quizlet username or the flashcards email address you can sort the information how you want it by most popular studied alphabetical and most recent we're gonna find a quick set of Spanish flashcards on quizlet here and there's actually over 10,000 flashcard sets that are available so you can enter in more keywords to get more specific but 501 Spanish verbs sounds like a pretty good starting point we're gonna choose that you can see all the information about it again you can email or text a link preview it and install this set so now we've installed that we're gonna back swipe to the opening screen here and we're gonna tap on study here it brings up the sets that you have already installed on your device you can install as many as you like unless you're using the light version scrolling down to the bottom you can see the renaissance art and the spanish verbs that we installed the options at the bottom let you sort the information so you can quickly find it you can actually start typing and it will filter out everything that doesn't match what you're typing so you can quickly find it but you can also sort by study date and by name we're going to choose the renaissance art and you can see the information here is quick info how many cards lessons tags and the options that are available on the bottom left there's the add so you can actually add a new flashcard to this set with the question and answer very quickly uh, the tools let you research certain options under set you can upload it to the online tools rename it you can shuffle the cards you can use the automated lesson plan creator to divide the setup into smaller chunks that are easily digestible 
and you can use the active cards feature to quickly activate cards for the stacked learning method. At the top right, you're currently on the overview, and selecting that, you can actually select f to view the flashcards that are in the set. You can view the lessons, uh, the tags, Leitner boxes, the active cards, the bookmark cards, and the learned cards. Once you're ready to start studying, you can just tap on study, and it brings up the study area. Uh, here it shows you the method that you're currently studying. If you're studying bookmarks, it'll tell you that, or the specific lesson or Leitner box that you're studying. You have the question with the number one, which is the first card in the set, and 501, how many cards there are in the set, and the information here. To see the answer, you just tap on the card. The card flips over and you actually get to see the answer. The green right and the red wrong options help track your progress. So when you tap on one of them, it advances the next card. So you can keep going through and mark them as you got it. Alternatively, if you don't want to use that option and you just want to quickly go through the information, you can use the left arrow to go to the previous card, the right arrow to go to the next card, and the random button. You can also just swipe. You can swipe the cards from right to left to go to the next card, or you can go to the previous card by swiping from left to right. At the top are the options. You can mark this card as learnt when you do that. The card no longer shows up while studying because you've already learned it. If there's a hint, you can see the hint. You can edit, bookmark, delete. You can activate reverse mode, which will show the answer first and then the question on the reverse side, so it gives you a completely different perspective while you're studying. The practice stats show how long you've been studying, how many cards you've viewed, how many right and how many wrong, so you can kind of keep track of your own progress there. We'll go in. The keyboard shortcuts. Everything that you can do within the application while you're studying, you can actually do directly from the keyboard. So if you want to review the shortcuts that are available, which are also right here, uh, you can click on that and get more information. You can also bring up the help page. Flashcards also has a really cool focus mode. So when you turn the phone into landscape mode, you can see all the options are now available. And it focuses on just studying the information. We'll go back here. From the top left, you can also access the preferences and accounts. And from here, you can actually change everything that's available. There's over 16 preferences, so you can get the application looking exactly like you want. One of the cool things is there are different card colors. So you can choose from chalkboard white, pink, blue, and several other options. I'll just choose the pink. That's one of the ladies' favorites. Now you can see the inf the card itself has actually changed. Everything works exactly the same, but you can change through these as you want. This is Flashcards for WebOS. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, please use the support link at the bottom to get my contact information from the app catalog. You can also use the contact link here to call me or email me. I'm always available. Please be sure to leave a review. Thank you.